So finally, Sam rule has triggered recession today. It's one of the most predictable indicator even declared by Federal Reserve themselves that it is a recession indicator. And according to Sam rule, we have triggered officially recession in the United States. So what is Sam rule? Sam rule is basically discovered by a Fed employee, Claudia Sam. And what she tells you that this is basically a, a three months moving average, you know, based upon the unemployment number. So if the unemployment number, okay, if it goes above 0.5% compared to its previous 12 months low, then pretty much all the time, whenever, whenever it happened, we were in recession. Okay, and today it has triggered that. And you can see that right now, based upon the SOM rule, we are actually at 0.53% right now. Okay, so that has been triggered. And the yield curve has also been very close to be uninverted. Okay, right now, the difference between the twos and the tens in terms of the yield is around nine basis points, nine, okay? And the history has shown you that whenever the yield curve gets inverted, and then when it gets uninverted, this is when the recession has been declared pretty much all the time, except I think one occasion when this was a false, false positive. But apart from that, it has been proven that whenever it happens, it is always followed by a recession. OK, so perhaps by Monday or Tuesday, we will see the yield curve gets uninverted as well. OK, so things are really going in that direction. I have been warning you guys through this channel that all these indicators are screaming, screaming about recession. No matter how much positivity you see on Bloomberg or CNBC that this time is different. This time is different. OK, but things are going back to the basics. OK. Um, so market tanked today okay so get last week when federal Reserve chair came out and then he made his dovish tone uh and and talked about how the how great the economy is you know it's on it's firing on all eight cylinders and and we don't have to worry about unemployment number and now finally we're seeing the market is not buying that narrative okay before it used to be like bad news good news you know when the cpi comes up higher market you know rips high rips higher because it was leading towards the federal reserve rate cut but this time not anymore because market is not buying that narrative because market is seeing seeing that the economy the underlying economy is struggling okay we're seeing the unemployment is going we're seeing the the earnings are are are, are being missed and we're seeing the real global economy is running through challenges and since last week, we're seeing the bond market is like the yields are collapsing. Why? Because the capital is flowing into the safe havens. It's not going into the real economy and it's not even going into the stock market anymore. OK, so is it really the uh, the market crash or the beginning of the crash? I don't know. Maybe the, the market comes back Monday. Who knows? Because there's so much volatility. If you look at the VIX index, it has gone up like what? Like 30%, 40%? So there's so much volatility. I think it's so difficult to predict what's going to happen. The market can swing either way, either way. That's why, you know, I not I, I don't recommend or I don't myself do like daily trades because it's so volatile, you know, it, it's, it's so difficult to follow, okay? So if you want to be an investor, be a, a long-term investor. If you long, if you go on long on 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 you know good companies you would be okay like amazon down by what 10 percent this morning you know if you buy amazon dip over the long run you'll be fine okay intel down like 22 percent if you buy intel for the long run you'll be fine okay so i'm not recommending anybody to do any short-term trade because things are so volatile it can go either way either way okay so I think we are now going into this reality phase where the market is now waking up to the fact that the economy is not sound anymore, despite what the Federal Reserve has been saying, despite what the BNB, BN, uh, Bloomberg and CNBC uh, talking heads has been telling us that everything is fine. This time is different. We're not in the recession and we will be we'll be OK, like Jim Cramer. Bye, 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 bye. But I think market is now realizing this is not true and they are they are realizing bad news is bad news and they are taking precautions and moving the capital into something that they can uh, hedge themselves against an economic depression like gold gold up 2500 uh, an ounce 
uh, like bond yields is, is collapsing, which means the bond, uh, the, the, the market is buying bonds, short term bonds, because it's, it's, a, it's a pristine collateral. At least it can, it can sustain its principal value. Even uh, it doesn't give you the, uh, the high yields, but it can, it can preserve its principal amount. Okay. Anyway, you let me know what you think about that. Tell me uh, how you are protecting your portfolio, your investment. How are you protecting your financial freedom? Uh, let me know. Put your comments down below in the comment section and check the links below. There's some free stuff for you. Take advantage of it and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. If you are an investor in the US, in Canada or in Europe and you are considering investing into Dubai real estate market, this video is for you because we have a platform called stake which allows you to invest into the residential real estate market and start earning rental income right away without going through a lengthy documentation process or coming up with a heavy down payment stake is built upon this the concept of crowdfunding so it is democratizing the entire investment strategy and, and allows you to own a single unit of the entire investment portfolio so you don't have to own the entire property right? you can be part of the pool that can actually own a piece of property a piece of real estate so that allows you to start with as low as 2000 dirhams and you can slowly ramp up so as you start investing into it you can not only own a bit of bit of real estate but you also get a portion of the rental income on a monthly basis so it's a passive investment strategy diversifying your portfolio from traditional north american or european markets into dubai which is hustling and bustling and growing very fast and allows you to build your wealth over time so so don't delay there is a link down there in the description if you click on this it will give you free 200 dirhams in your account right away to start with and you can thank me later